what a gorgeous, gorgeous powerful song. Um, beautiful actress. So Ekwa is the name of that character. Uh, she's, I love that she's a strong, young female character. I'm wondering, what was the inspiration for her? Um, I, I, as a dramatist, um, many, many of my plays have been about young women who have face challenges and who have to fight to restore their integrity. And so I was uh, drawn to this character who has even more obstacles in her way. I mean, if she was in any Western country, with she'd be valedictorian of her class. I mean, she's bright, she's curious, and um, the fact that she has more than simply the obstacles in her community keeping her from um, economically going to school, but her life is actually in danger in the course of her journey was totally inspiring to me. And so what has your development process been like so far? Um, we, there was a great deal of um, uh, immersion into research about Ghana, but because this is about any woman, really, about any young woman who is fighting obstacles, um, I felt that um, it really, I, I could identify with, um, I, I'm also, a, a certified rape crisis counselor, and I deal with survivors of sexual assault. And so I, I consider them heroines because they have to fight and safety finish. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, well, you know, first of all, I just want to say how cool it is to be here. Um, it's, it's Women's History Month, and, it, it, and we just celebrated International Women's Day, which okay. is pretty wonderful, Fantastic. and this show is really, um, it's set in Ghana, but it, it's not particular to Ghana, because it's a story of um, a girl who struggles against oppression and how she overcomes these obstacles, and it could be set anywhere, and it's really written, in, inspired by those girls and women throughout the world who overcome, as Jenny said, you know, that some people, is, girls and women in situations around the globe, um, we take for granted a lot of things that we have. And um, in a lot of countries, things that we take for granted, like just being safe or getting an education, are not had by everyone. Yeah. But you, you asked about development, and um, we were very fortunate to, um, we started developing the show at the uh, BMI workshop, and then, <laughs> and then, um, and then it went on to um, NAMM, to the National Alliance Musical Theater Festival, and we've had a couple of productions actually. We had a developmental production at Kent State University, and then a regional production at Village Theater, um, yeah. Yeah, world premiere. Yeah, I ten think. week run, and so we uh, we've done rewrites, and we're looking for the next one. We're good to go. Yeah, we're good to go. Good to go. I, have, I have a question about the music. Um, there's a lot of you said you immersed yourself in the research, and as such, there was a lot of African influence in the music. Can you talk a little bit about that process with your composer, who's not here, Philip, or are, is Philip here? Oh, Philip is here. Philip Palmer. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Do you want to address that? Yeah, absolutely. So um, Philip studied. Um, he Philip actually was, had an internship um, on the Lion King, and he he was so taken by the music that he decided to go to Ghana to study African drumming and choral singing. Yeah, and then once he got there. He was so moved by the plight of the people there, the hardships that they faced, especially the hardships faced by women and girls. Yeah. Um, and so he he continued to study the music, but also went and volunteered, uh, did volunteer work there. So it was this combination of the, the love of the music and the love of the stories and the Wonderful. Thank you so much. Yeah. Um, so Jenny and Stacy, thank you. So we're next we're gonna hear the title song from the show, right? right? Yes. Wonderful. So my heart is the drum. That's yes. next. Thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you.